In this video, I'm going to show you how to detect very simple shapes in an image. For example, let's say that you want to detect if an icon is inside a desktop. So this is one image and we want to detect if this specific icon is inside the scene. So I, I have two images, this one, which is a normal desktop with the icon, and this other one, which gives you a little more noise with the arrow on top of it. So let's see if we can detect our object, which is basically just this icon, in these two scenes. So let's run the example, it's chamfer example. First you give the scene and then the icon or the shape. And as you can see here, this icon is detected here. And basically the detection is a group of pixels. So the shape detected is a vector of points, as you can see here. Let's see if it can detect the icon in the other environment. And yep, it can detect it as well, as you can see here. So let's see the code for this, which is very simple. It's, this is the example. The only difference from the example is this just I uncommented these two lines because I wanted to use normal images. So for this algorithm to work, you need to have binary images. So basically, Kani converts a grayscale image into a binary image. So then you only need to call the chamfer matching function. And the results are, as you saw before, the results are vector of points. So the chamfer matching function will give you a vector of results. So that's why we have a vector of results. Each result will be a vector of points. And also it will return you the best shape that it has. So basically afterwards, you only need to access to the results vector in specifically the best index, and you will have the shape that best describes the icon or shape that you used. So as you can see here, for example, if the best is um, negative, it means that it doesn't have a match. So it means that there isn't any shape in this scene. But if there is a shape detected, it will have the um, it will be the index. So basically, you can access it with results at the best position. And that's it. What it does here is for every point, it basically paints the point in green in the image. But you can do whatever you want. So basically, if you detect the image, you can return an example or anything that you want. As you can see, now you can detect any single shape, even with a small noise like this, for example, in your images.